Hey y'all, today we are building a chair of cheer. That sign right there came from Limitless in Paulding, Ohio. I actually got it for 25 cents. The other pieces were from Dollar Tree signs that you can get. I just cut them down. And what we're going to do, yep, there's little Grinchy waiting on his chair of cheer. So I got all the paper off, all cleaned up and ready to go. Those pieces came from a garland I took apart. And then we're going to use some wood glue. And we're going to get this started. So we're going to glue all this stuff together. I'm not going to make you watch all this, I promise. Hopefully you guys enjoy my chair of cheer. Building it from the ground up. I think it came out cute. You guys will have to let me know in comments. If you enjoy it, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing and sticking around. I got a new video coming out Sunday. It's a collaboration. So hopefully you guys will come back for that. It's going to be at 7 p.m. Eastern Sunday. It'll, they'll, um, all our videos will be dropping. It's going to be a playlist. So very excited for that one. So now it's all set and dry. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint it. I didn't need to, but I wasn't sure what I was going to do. I had so many ideas for this chair of cheer. I really wasted my paint here, but that's okay. It's okay. Because I wasn't sure if I was going to put a cushion on it or yet. You know what I mean? So, so we got some cotton. We're going to make our very own cushion. I am not a professional cushion maker. I did the best I could. So I just laid my cotton over, laid my fabric. If you decide to make you a chair of cheer, you can do it however you wish. So I kind of... And fold it into like a present. You know what I mean? Like when you're wrapping presents. Got my grandpa's staple gun. We're about to staple this. Get it held down. In the end, this was really easy. You know, at first I was like, man, I don't know if, <laughs> if I could make this work, but it did. Sorry about the blurriness. I don't know why it's blurry. Probably because I'm moving so much. Sometimes that makes the camera go wonky. Oh, and my video light. So I have a video. My video lighting is also what holds my phone to record. Guess what, y'all? It broke. It's rigged up right now with some uh, painter's tape. <laughs> but it's okay. So we're about to paint the back of the chair red. This is called, I think, Imperial Red, but it's red. So we're going to paint both sides of that. I'm not going to make you watch all of it. I think you guys know how to paint. You'll have to let me know in comments. Do you guys like the Grinch? So this tape right here is actually made for like when you're fixing holes in walls. But you'll see what we're about to do. We're adding a little more Grinchy color to our chair. So it's going to be like a stencil. So we're going to lay out our tape. Then we're going to stencil over with a brighter green. And you'll see. See, there's the green. I think it's called, yeah, Irish. Irish green. And we're going to pretty much just do like we do with stencils and just go all over our tape. And then we'll pull that tape up. And then have a cool little design on our chair. I felt like it needed more character. And I feel like the, the fun thing about, you know, um, the Grinch and, you know, Whoville and all that. You like It can be quirky. You know what I mean? It doesn't... I don't know how to explain it. I just... I see Whoville as quirky and cute and... Yeah. There's no rules to your chair of cheer. Okay, now we're going to take some Rust-Oleum glitter. Don't worry, you'll get a better look at my little design in the end. So, a lot of you have already seen me use this a million times. I love Shimmer for Christmas, and yep, this glitter does not come off. I get mine at Menards. Yeah, I'm sure you can get it at Menards, Lowe's, Home Depot. It's a little on the pricey side. I think it's like 25 but this has lasted me for months, y'all. So... 
It's made for walls, but you can use them in projects and not have to worry about the glittery mess. See that fun little design? It's got. It's easier to see the shimmer in person. Now this part is really hard to do on camera. Um, um, sorry about that. So what I'm going to do is add a little wood glue on there for extra hold. Then I put a couple of like tower tumbling blocks behind it just to hold it enough so I could drill my holes. See, there we go. Now I'm going to show you. See, I drilled holes first and then added screws in the back. Now the legs, I'm just going easier on this right here. I'm just adding some hot glue. Then I'll reinforce it with some twine. Uh, it was the only thing I could think of at this time. How to attach them. Just something quick. I mean, it works out. You know, it's just a decoration. So it worked out just fine. It's holding up. It's okay. See how I reinforce with some twine on the front? Now we're going to add this, I don't know, it's, I don't know what you call it. Is it like snowball ribbon? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. But this little ribbon stuff, we're going to add that to it. And then what I do is, you see all those spaces in there? What I do is cut off some extra of those little tiny white balls, and then I add more to it. So it's nice and full. Because I didn't think it looked right with all the spacing and all that. I'm not even sure where I got that. I think it was given to me, to be honest. Oh, and as you can see, I'm sorry. I did paint the legs red. Same red as the back of the chair. Sorry about that. I forgot to tell y'all. But I'm sure you can see it yourself. But same red. And then I did add the shimmer to the legs as well. This is really, really quick video. Um... It was a fun project. It's something I've been wanting to try and do. And I was so happy that I finally got to do it this morning. And I really hope you guys love it. So do y'all like The Grinch? What's your favorite Christmas movie? I like them all. I'm a Christmas lover. Uh, actually, I'm Christmas obsessed. So. Yeah, I accidentally had it upside down right here. I was like, oh, you ding dong. So I had to flip it around and fix it. I was like, why are these not sitting right? Well, hello. It was upside down. But we got it fixed. No worries. And I do add a couple of ornaments for decoration. Couldn't leave those on the chair of cheer. So here we go. And now what we're doing is taking some white chalk paint. And I'm going around the edges. So it's going to make our chair pop more. It's going to make it stand out more. It just looked too flat. You know what I mean? Like there wasn't any like character. Look at it y'all. I love it so much. There's my ornaments I added. How cute is this? Hopefully you guys enjoy this. Maybe you guys will give it a try. And make your own chair of cheer this year. For Christmas. And there's the Grinch. Look how happy he is in his little chair of cheer. You guys have a great day, okay? And I will see you guys Sunday. Bye, y'all.